Have you noticed how much we all depend on information communication technology? Our society and economy, the citizens, but also the things we own, our infrastructures, our services, they have all become critically dependent on ICT. Any major malfunction or disruption of our digital devices or services, whether it's man-made or accidental, could have a detrimental impact on our economy and our society and also lead to heavy financial losses. This can affect our prosperity and can seriously undermine our faith in technology that is supposed to make our life better. Last year, in the European Union, we came up with a strategy for cybersecurity. This strategy proposes a number of actions that all together provide for a strong European response to cybersecurity challenges. It is not only about policies and legislation, but it is also about more funds and more focus on research. Research in the field of cybersecurity and privacy, and this is covered by a new research program of the EU, Horizon 2020. In essence, we want to focus our support to research and innovation on, first, increasing the competitiveness of European industry so that it is not left behind by competitors from America and Asia. Secondly, the protection of our society that at this stage puts so much amount of trust in ICT. We have structured the support in Horizon 2020 on two different levels. So firstly, we have the light part. The light stands for leadership in enabling and industrial technologies. There we would like to support fundamental research. This year, for example, in the fields of cryptography and security by design. In that way, we want to foster what would be the world leading research, but here in Europe. Secondly, in the societal challenges part, which is a new approach in Horizon 2020, we focus on demonstrating the viability and maturity of innovative cybersecurity solutions. So, such innovative projects must validate security concepts, processes, and solutions, and that must be done on the ground in real life environment. We expect that some of the solutions would be demonstrated when they involve high number of end users, whether public or private, so that we can be really sure that this works in practice. Through that, we will not only increase the prospects for a more trusted, secure digital society, but also for a competitive, cutting-edge ICT security market in Europe. So, over to you. Right now, our calls are open for your project proposals. So it is up to you to make the best out of this opportunity.